Hi, this is Burr Stewart, and welcome to part 78 of my continuing series of Model Railroad Operations videos. Today we're going to have an odd variety of things. We're going to admire some rolling stock, such as what you see here. And we're also going to have some fun with layout updates, the backdrop of Seattle, and the new trackage going into West Seattle. And then finally, um, we'll do a switching maneuver involving this West Seattle track, which I hope you'll enjoy. So let's get on with it. For starters, Brian Elchlip had brought over another nicely weathered British locomotive that he did for Robin Peel. And you can see two of Robin's lo locomotives here. We don't know why these OO scale locomotives belong on an HO scale railroad, except that we often see them, as you know, if you've watched our previous videos. Now, Brian also brought along an Elko FA2 that he super detailed. He had also weathered a Great Northern boxcar very nicely. And I realized I had a couple more, so I pulled them out and we ran all three of these outside braced, relatively modern GN uh, Great Sky Blue boxcars and just enjoyed switching them around. He subsequently did some more weathering and you'll see them show up in some other videos. In the meantime, in anticipation of an operating session, which you'll see some in future videos here shortly, I installed some temporary trackage in the West Seattle town, and we thought we would test it out. So here we have a, a GN GP9 pulling a string of cars for the first time ever through Lego Town, which we is, are also calling Harbor Island. And it will take those cars into one of the two what are now staging tracks in uh, West Seattle. Here the engine has just come down to the switch. The switchman has flipped the switch, lined the switch, you should say, and is now backing onto our cars. We're going to pull these cars into the staging track for the very first time ever. This gives you a chance to admire Lego Town briefly. The um, Quonset hut on the lower left there is actually an HO scale model that was built by Jeff Lemon and came off of his recently torn down layout. But the rest of this, of course, is Lego equipment that we collected when our children were smaller. Well, there we have it. The short train with a, a blue GN caboose heading across the trestle towards the new West Seattle town. There's the trestle I mentioned. This should be a raised bascule bridge, but at the moment the trestle is a stand-in for that bridge. It's kind of cool to see the effect of the mirror on the backdrop there too. I like it. But as we got to this point, we realized that somehow the caboose had been left back there and had come uncoupled unintentionally. Now we could have gone back and gotten the caboose, which of course would have happened on the prototype, but since this is reality model railroading, I just went over there and grabbed the caboose and shoved it down back onto the train, testing the coupler to make sure it was tight. Bang! That was a serious bang. Now we thought we'd bring it back into the scene over that trestle. You can admire the mirror again. Pretty cool. 
Now this first switch that we came to is heading into the temporary Bethlehem steel plant and you'll notice there's a gondola there loaded with rebar coming out of the plant that will need to be shipped by somebody soon. But here we're stopping the engine so the brakeman can get off and flip the switch, which I'm about to do here. But then I realized the track I wanted to use was already lined properly, so that was a completely wasted effort. So now the brakeman got back up on the locomotive, and we can proceed down onto our track. Sorry, my voice is a little weird. I've had a couple of different colds in a row, and I'm waiting for it to return to normal. As you can see, there's no scenery here yet, just a brown paint, and we haven't even weathered the track. These are just a couple of pieces of flex track that are temporarily spiked down onto the surface, which is cork on top of plywood. But fortunately, this track seems to be working fine. And that means that we'll be able to use these tracks to take cars that are billed for the West Seattle area in our next operating sessions. I promise as we get further along building this, we'll send you videos showing the progress. You notice along the backdrop a couple of foam core cutout buildings. These are actually remnants from the layout as it was about, oh, I don't know, 30 years ago. And I was modeling some of the industrial switching in South Seattle. I'm just borrowing them temporarily now to look like we're somewhere. And there's our throttle. Shouldn't put a throttle down on the layout surface, but I guess it's all right. And you'll notice there is the stand-in for the Bethlehem steel plant. That's a model that doesn't quite fit, but it'll do for the moment. And I wanted to show you the car card boxes are in place. I haven't labeled them yet, but that'll come soon. And if we look at the car cards for, for this train we just did, you can see that all four of them are actually billed to Lego Town or, or um, Harbor Island or West Seattle. Now, and then there's the caboose card. And that goes in the track that's uh, three over from Bethlehem Steel because we put it on the far track. So there, we've taken care of our paperwork and that's a shot of the white pencil we'll use for marking the box. Now, just for fun, let me show you what I did later. I backed the train back out. You press F8 and then uh, ran around it so that I could just shove the four cars in and not have the engine stuck in the back of the track. Well, enough of that. Now we can listen to the fun sounds of this Delta locomotive that Robin brought over and Brian Levin. This track that the locomotive is on is the siding in the Delta yard. So 
So the next thing we did was to admire Brian's work in cutting out the buildings from the poster that I had made years ago and gluing them onto the blue painted backdrop. It, it looks much better. You'll have to go back and look at other videos before we did this. And now it looks like the buildings just stick right up out of the scenery. We have more work to do in this area, but it, it's a big improvement to cut out those buildings. And this uh, is a scan. You can enjoy the details of this particular corner scene. This is a pretty important place because it signifies that we're in downtown Seattle and it's at the base of the stairs. So it's one of the first things you see when you enter the layout room. So with that, we'll bring this video to a close and I hope you've enjoyed seeing some construction progress as well as a little rail fanning. And until the next time, this is Burr Stewart wishing you much fun with trains.